All my favorite hikes I've ever been on um, have like really left me hanging hard. I, uh, my favorite hike that I can think back on to my trip uh, out to Yellowstone, I slid about a foot in bison shit and almost went down in it. Um, and then the second one was on uh, my second date with this girl who I really liked. And we started off, we went on a, uh, it was, I think it was a mutual idea, to go on a hike. Um, and I had just moved to York County, so I let her pick the place. I still don't know where it's at. But we went on the hike, and it was at sunset. It was super romantic. And uh, after about like an hour of hiking up through, we get to this peak, and you look out, and there's the sunset. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I just had a conversation with the friend who I was hiking with when I went through the bison poop um, the night, or a couple nights before. And I was like, dude, I, I want to go for the kiss. You know, this is a second date. I was getting nervous. I wanted, I wanted to go for uh, the first kiss, make it really nice and majestic on the sunset, on this hike. And he's like, got to shoot your shot, man. And I was like, all right, cool. So we get, up, we get up to this peak, and we're standing there. And like, I'm super nervous as my heart's pounding through my chest. And uh, I'm probably doing a whole bunch of weird mannerisms. I do that anyway, but I was probably, it was probably like tenfold. And we were just watching the sunset. And I was like, this is nice. She's like, yeah. And we just stood there in awkward silence for like the next five minutes. And then I was like, well, we should probably get going, right? She's like, yeah, and I took my first step down, and I just ate shit again. <laughs> it went flat on my butt, and it hurt so bad. Like, I feel the cherry tree thing. I, I went down, and, um, but I, it was the second day, so I had to play it off. And I was like, oh, that was nothing. Like, I'm, I'm strong. Uh, that, didn't, <laughs> that didn't hurt. And uh, I said that didn't hurt, and I was, like, back home, like, in a mirror, looking at the bruise on my back and all the way down to my hip. But uh, so we made it all the way down. It started getting dark like halfway through. And I was like, oh, I'm, so, I'm so lame. I didn't even go for like the kiss. It was like picturesque. It was perfect. So I did the next best thing, right? So it was getting dark. So I said the best line in my head to get closer to her. And I was like, oh, we should probably hold hands because it's getting dark and I don't want to lose you. And um, she was just like, oh, uh, OK. And <laughs> gave me her hand. And we like walked back down through. And it got really dark to the point where I couldn't find my truck. And so I was like pulling out my keys, hitting the panic button, just hoping we were in range. And about after doing that for like 10 minutes, we finally got, finally got back to the truck. And uh, I, hadn't had the, I hadn't had the first kiss yet, so the date couldn't end, right? So I was like, ah, oh, why don't we keep this going? And it's like late now. She's like, OK. And so we went bowling. And I thought I was a pretty, <laughs> I thought I was a pretty good bowler. Um, and I was like, all right, let's make a deal. Loser has to kiss the winner. <laughs> and it, or I, I, th I didn't say it that smooth. Like, I know that wasn't smooth, but I said it a lot worse. It was, it was like really rough. And I was like, yeah, I have an idea. And it was just really weird. Um, so I ended up losing. Uh, second date, it was, again, I was just like, oh, you know, I let you win. Uh, and... <laughs> We finally, after I extend this out like way longer than it needed to be, my butt's just hurting so bad from the fall I took. We get back to her place, and uh, we went in. We had our first kiss, and it wasn't it wasn't like as cool as having it on the the cliffside looking out over the sunset. But we've been dating two years almost now, so I think it all worked out pretty well.